Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, this resolution of a, a video every Monday. So I'm trying to get it. Uh, this past week, um, I haven't recorded anything. I haven't gone out and done anything exciting um, for multiple reasons. But uh, I've got kind of a generic video that I wanted to do for the semester anyway. So I figured I'd do it now and get it up for you uh, in time. Trying to keep, you know, one video a week. It can't be that hard, right? I have to be able to do something. Also, the sweatshirt is definitely not blue. I don't know why the lighting is making it blue, but it is very purple. Audio might also be a bit off, but I just want to talk about next semester, or this upcoming semester. So I'm heading back in about two weeks, probably a little, a few days before classes start. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So the first uh, semester was kind of a jump into everything, because um, I, I tested out of most of my requirements. So I CS 102 instead of 101, Calc 2, I have my freshman seminar, which is required, and then a text and ideas, which is another English requirement. Uh, this semester uh, at NYU, there's an infamous class called the Writing the Essay that every freshman has to take, uh, pretty sure no matter what school you're in, no matter what NYU school you're in. And um, I'm taking mine with a subcategory in science, like medical, psychology, that kind of science, not math and physics science. Uh, so I am looking forward to that. I really enjoyed the English class that I took the past semester. Um, but anyway, Writing the Essay. Uh, and then I'm taking Computer Systems Organization, so... For those of you who know a little bit about computer science, uh, we're learning a C programming language. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going into assembly a little bit, kind of going into the more nitty gritty stuff about how computers work uh, on a low level. So, and, and kind of taking uh, the overall idea of a lower level look at things. So giving us more control over basic operations of a computer, which, you know, higher level programming languages would allow you to, uh, that, that do it for you, I should say. Uh, which can be a bad thing because, you know, there are some things if you forget, you can break it. Um, which is the benefit of higher level programming while they're used for intro like Python and Java. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next class is discrete mathematics. Now, if you look up the definition on Google, it says the study of mathematics, which is fundamentally discrete or something like that. Um, I don't still fully know. It's just, it's not linear. Um, I don't really know how to describe it a simple way because I don't fully understand it yet myself. And lastly, finally diving in with psych classes after three computer science courses in my first semester, cognitive neuroscience. Um, now, a lot of people in psychology, at least it's a vibe I get, don't really like the biology of it, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Very excited for that class. Exploring like cognition and perception and stuff in a philosophical way almost has always been a, an interesting uh, concept to me. And I also really love the biology of psychology. So, uh, you know, going on with that, just to, I feel like so much of this has been computer science. Uh, I am majoring in computer science. My original plan was to major in psychology as well, but I'm pretty sure I can graduate a year early. So I'm doing a minor in psych instead. Um, but I'm still really looking forward to those side courses. Some some goals, I guess, for this upcoming semester. At the start of the first semester, things were very, like, really everything was thrown at you. Uh, There's just a lot of stuff I felt like I had to adapt to, uh, and then a lot of habits that got, like, really uplifted and thrown everywhere, um, which is what I've been trying to do this winter, just get myself back into better habits. On that note, I didn't do a lot outside of my classes, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, I did, as I spoke in my last video, if you haven't, I would watch that because I'm kind of happy with what I said in it. Um, and I managed to get under 20 minutes <laughs> through editing. Um, anyway, I did some acting in high school and I'm going to try to look for some extra curricular thing I can do. Unfortunately, it's really hard, really, really hard to take a class outside of your, the school you're in. I don't know why. I tried to take a two credit drawing class and it just like, they made it very difficult. So that's one of my main goals is to find somewhere to act or something. There were a bunch of auditions at the beginning of the first semester, but I kind of brushed it off. Um, wow, I really, really just did that. I don't know if I'd had time for it, but I really want to make time for it. I think making time for things is very important because if you say, oh, I don't have time for it, you're never going to have time for it. My word just got really jumbled. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, another thing is make more friends. <laughs> uh, just throw, well, I'll throw that out there. Another one is to really get moving with extra, uh, not extracurricular, hobby projects. Uh, I kind of, I don't know if, I didn't really coin the term, but I kind of came up with that to describe what I'm doing outside of school, uh, hobby projects. So this winter, I've been kind of, I've been really slow, I'm not going to lie, uh, on getting those done. 
uh, and I really want to pick that up. So that includes, you know, trying to work on like a portfolio website, um, dig back into web design, get back into animation a bit more. Um, I've been trying to draw, but it, it's been it's been kind of iffy. I need to really find a main focus. Some some code things on the side, hobby projects, um, get into acting somehow extracurricularly, and and then also read more. So hobby projects, uh, acting, and read more. So my English class we read a lot, so I didn't really read much outside of that. Um, I didn't get through two books, but uh, recently, so I'm moving the I'm moving out of the house. Um, here where I live. I don't know how else to state that. Uh, there used to be, so these are miscellaneous items at the, at the top here, um, that are somewhat, have somewhat of memorabilia behind them. There's a photo, the can of sunscreen, the, that can of sunscreen can obviously be thrown away. Well, anyway, this whole thing is four layers. It used to be, the top three layers used to be all books, but I gave away or not. Yeah. I, I donated all the books. Um, most of the books that I had in there, these are all the ones in there that um, some of them I've read, some of them I've read, uh, Flowers for Algernon, Johnny Sun's book in the back. Kind of from that to the right I've read, except for that big one that's kind of just there. I started reading it, but it's just really long. It's about the history of the world, pretty much. Uh, I learned more from Bill Worst's video, but anyway, yeah, read more. Um, I have a bunch of books at school as well, because I, I read, like, all the reading was from my English class, and, um, I kind of want to get you know, back into the reading that tr like originally interested me. Although the autobiographies were very cool and I have put a bunch on my list. I also have a reading list on Amazon. Um, but I might, uh, there was a video I watched a while ago and I watched like a few from different creators since then uh, that I really enjoyed and they were just them talking about books and reading and stuff. So I kind of want to do my own, even though that'd be really boring probably. This is kind of a record as well, but also um, kind of just to show everyone that's where I'm at for school. Uh, I, th I really want to do um, different videos on kind of like a week of what the CSO class is like, computer system organization, a week of what writing the essay is like. I think that's kind of important. Um, maybe that'll like get out there a lot and I can put a lot of effort into that. A week of uh, the, the cognitive neuroscience and a week of discrete math or something like that. Or go into my hobby projects a bit more, you know, record me doing that and then upload a commentary of progress or something. But those classes ones I really do want to do. So keep an eye out for those. Next week, I'm thinking of, there's like a small woods reserve, reservation in my area. I might explore that, but that's good. I don't know how to make that interesting. I'll try to think of something. If you have ideas, please let me know. If you've enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, comment also. Um, a few people have been leaving comments, which is awesome. Do you let me know like what part of the video you like, you know, maybe parts that you didn't like so I can really narrow down uh, my focus and stuff. Especially timestamps, just like type in like 1224 or around 12 minutes. Oh God, this video is 12 minutes long. Uh, nobody wants to hear me talk. But without further ado, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.